What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, legendary promoter, top-ranked CEO and promoter, Bob Arum, he reveals more details when it comes to this situation with his former fighter, undefeated three-division world champion, former junior welterweight, undisputed world champion, currently the WBO reigning welterweight world champion, superstar boxer who's widely considered by many to be top the number one best pound for pound fighter in the world in Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Crawford, 38 wins, no losses, no draws, 29 big wins by way of knockout, 34 years of age, five foot eight with a 74 inch arm reach. And the last time you saw him in the squared circle was November 20th of 2021 when he took on and defeated former two time welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Showtime Sean Porter, who is now retired in a future Hall of Famer by 10th round stoppage. With that said, Terrence Crawford, we know that was his last fight with top rank Bob Arum and ESPN. Terrence Crawford immediately following the, the fight with Sean Porter, he let it be known that Bob Arum could not secure the big fights that he was looking for. He couldn't secure the ultimate fight that he was looking for against undefeated unified WBC IBF welterweight world champion superstar boxer Earl the True Spence Jr., who is his biggest rivalry. Earl Spence Jr., is widely considered by many to be top three best pound for pound fighters in the world. Errol Spence holds a record of 27 wins, no losses, no draws, 21 big wins by way of knockout, 31 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch armies. With that said, that makes up for the biggest fight in the sport of boxing, Errol Spence versus Terrence Bud Crawford. And uh, Terrence Crawford, he's not happy that he didn't secure the fight with Errol Spence. Uh, and he cited that he was promised that by top rank and Bob Arum that should he get past and for help them fulfill an obligation to the network in which they fight on the ESPN, the worldwide leading sports. He fought his uh, WBO mandatory challenger in Igas Kavalaskis, the mean machine. Then he would, uh, um, they would begin the process of, you know, uh, negotiating and securing a fight for him with Errol Spence Jr. Okay. Uh, so Terrence Crawford has revealed that he was also promised a $900,000 signing bonus should he fight um, um, Errol Spence Jr. And he was scheduled to make $4.5 million to fight Errol Spence Jr. Okay, so if he got a base salary of $4.5 million to fight Errol Spence Jr. on top of the $900,000 signing bonus, he would have made $5.4 million, okay, uh, to fight Errol Spence as base, okay? And so with that said, uh, top rank has agreed that he was old. He was going to receive 4.5 million base. That's not including the pay-per-view sales, uh, the live gates, you know, revenue and things of that nature. Okay. So Terrence Crawford, his highest payday, uh, to date now has been revealed in his fight with, uh, Sean Porter. Okay. So top rank has revealed the books for Terrence Crawford. And this is what they're saying. Yes, they was he was promised a bonus, uh, okay, uh, for the Errol Spence fight, okay. Uh, but Sean uh, Terrence Crawford made six hundred. Uh, excuse me, he made six million dollars for the Sean Porter fight with a fifty thousand dollar bonus, okay. So he got uh, a six million dollars and he got a fifty thousand dollar bonus, okay, for training expenses, okay. Uh, he got three point five million dollars for his fight with Kell Brook in twenty twenty, uh, and. And he uh, he got four million dollars for his fight against Mean Machine, and he got uh, so he got more money to fight against Mean Machine than he got uh, to fight in Kell Brook, okay, uh, the Igas Kavalaskis, okay. Uh, then he got four point eight million to fight Amir Khan. Now we know Amir Khan got seven point five, so they're proving that Amir Khan got more money than Terence Crawford. They revealed that Amir Khan got seven point five, and Terence Crawford got. 4.8 million okay and uh his fight with jose benavidez jr he received 3.5 million for the fight against jose benavidez jr okay uh so overall they're saying uh terence crawford banked in 21.8 million dollars uh, uh from october of 2018 okay his new deal with top rank so the problem terence crawford has you know uh is that uh terence crawford was promised he was going to get you know, 5.4 million for the Errol Spence fight. So he would have stood to make more money against Errol Spence than he would have against uh, uh, Sean Porter. Sean Porter, he got uh, uh, 6 million plus a $50,000 
signing bonus. He would have got a, a base salary. Now, that's with the Sean Porter. That was with the pay-per-views and things of that nature. So with Errol Spence, he would have got uh, $5.4 million, okay? And then he would have got, you know, uh, um, he also would have received, you know, uh, the pay-per-view shares. You know, uh, he would have received revenue shares. You know, uh, he would have got a lot on the back end. So Terrence Crawford is not happy that he didn't receive the money he was looking for on the back end. And so now top rank at Bob Arum is saying that this is what they have to say in response is that, you know, uh, it was nothing they could do about it because uh, Errol Spence was unavailable. OK, so Errol Spence was injured. Uh, we know Errol Spence. He only fought. Uh, he's he he had the unification bout against Sean Porter, September of 2019. Twelve days later, October 10th, he suffered a horrific car accident. He was out the ring for 14 months. OK, so now you look at the let's look at the timetables. OK, because they're saying that Terrence uh, Errol Spence wasn't available to begin negotiations. Obviously, we know that to be true. So this is what they're going to use in the court uh, to defend their um, their case with Terrence Crawford. OK, so uh, 2019, September 2019 is when uh, Errol Smith suffered the, the horrific car accident. OK, now, April of that year, you know, uh, earlier that year, Terrence Crawford, he fought against uh, Amir Khan on pay-per-view. That was April of 2019. Now, that following September is when Sean Porter and Errol Smith fought. Uh, that's when Terrence Crawford, December of 2019, he fought Igas Kavalaskis. Now, what's interesting is this. Errol Smith suffered the car accident in September, okay? Terrence Crawford fought Igas Kavalaskis in December. So Terrence Crawford is saying that they promised him after the fight with Igas that they was going to give the Terrence, Terrence Crawford the Errol Spence fight. Now, that was December. Now, Errol Spence didn't come back to the ring until December of 2020, okay? So Terrence Crawford, he fought Kell Brook. But what's ironic is that Terrence Crawford has put himself in a bind. And the reason I say that is because Terrence Crawford went on record and stated that he didn't want to be Errol Spence's first fight back. He wanted Errol Spence to get a fight before he fought Errol Spence so that he could get his full credit for beating Errol Spence. Now, if you look at the timetables, he fought Kell Brook November of 2020. Now, remember this. He didn't want to fight Kell Brook, okay? He wanted to fight Errol Spence Jr. But Errol Spence didn't come back till December of 2020, his first fight, uh, December 5th, against Danny Garcia. So Terrence Crawford couldn't have it both ways. You can't come back and say you want to fight Errol Spence after he gets back in the ring. He didn't come back to December. So for Terrence Crawford, like Bob Arum said, he was being difficult in negotiations in signing to fight Kell Brook November of that year. And Terrence Crawford's case is that after Igas Kavalasis, he was promised Errol Spence. Well, even if you were promised Errol Spence, you stated that you didn't want to fight Errol Spence. That didn't, you didn't want that to be your first fight, his first fight back off a 14 month layoff and suffering that horrific car accident because you wouldn't get your just dues. So why was you dragging your feet to sign to fight Kell Brook? That didn't add up, okay? So he fought Kell Brook November of 2020. Errol Spence fought Danny Garcia December 5th of 2020. Okay, so he fought him a month later. Okay, now after that, uh, Errol Spence, he was looking for uh, another opponent. Now after that, I can understand Terrence Crawford being frustrated not getting the fight with Errol Spence. But Errol Spence, he then signed on. Errol Spence said, blame Bob, right? Um, Terrence Crawford, he made it his a business to let the world know Errol Spence was in his rearview mirror and that he wanted to face off against Manny Pacquiao, legendary eight division world champion, iconic Filipino superstar boxer. That was his number one objective was to secure a fight with Manny Pacquiao. Okay. Now what's interesting here is that he wanted to secure a fight with Manny Pacquiao. And he said Errol Spence fight was in his rearview mirror. And he was saying that Errol Spence asked for a 60, 40 split was the reason the fight didn't happen. He was placing blame on Errol Spence. But in this entire time, Terrence Crawford is going through a, a feud behind the scenes with his own promotional company for not looking to make the fight happen. So Bob Arum and Top Rank are saying that Errol Spence was unavailable and Terrence Crawford didn't want the fight when Errol Spence was available. Okay, so not until Errol Spence beat Danny Garcia and not until Terrence Crawford beat Kell Brook is when 
uh, Terrence Crawford stated he wanted to fight with uh, Manny Pacquiao. He said his number one objective was to secure a fight with Manny Pacquiao because Errol Spence was pricing himself out with a 60-40 split, okay? So he began negotiations with Manny Pacquiao. He said that was his number one objective to begin with. He was trying to secure a fight with Manny Pacquiao for the better part of five years. Well, Bob Arum entered negotiations with Manny Pacquiao. And then we know Bob Arum, he's on record stating that he was the one that prevented the fight with Manny Pacquiao. Then talks began that Manny Pacquiao and Terrence Crawford could possibly fight December 5th of 2021. Okay. But, and there was an investment group in Abu Dhabi that was willing to put up the money for Terrence Crawford versus Manny Pacquiao. But the investment group fell out. They dropped out. And when they dropped out, uh, Bob Arum stated that we could definitely put on uh, the fight with Terrence Crawford and Manny Pacquiao. But he stated that it's not worth it. We're not going to get a return on our investment because we lost so much money on Terrence Crawford. We could build a mansion in Beverly Hills from scratch. Also, Bob Aaron responded to former unified welterweight world champion, superstar boxer Keith one time Thurman, who is now 29 wins, one loss, no draws, 22 wins by way of knockout, 33 years of age, five foot seven with a 68 inch arm reach. That was another number one objective of Terrence Crawford to secure a fight with Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman stated that he wanted $10 million to fight, uh, uh, to begin negotiation with Terrence Crawford. And Bob Arum says it's not worth it. And that if Keith Thurman and Terrence Crawford want to find another promoter to stage the fight, he'll buy tickets and promise he'll be ringside to watch the other promoter lose money on the Terrence Crawford, Keith Thurman fight. So he didn't value Terrence Crawford in high value. Okay. But Terrence Crawford had, Objective one was Manny Pacquiao, and he said Errol Spence was in his rearview mirror. So now Bob Arum is saying that Terrence Crawford is just trying to secure $10 million, and he didn't do his part. And they, they can prove that Errol Spence just wasn't available, and Terrence Crawford didn't want to fight. So uh, this is going to be a lot of revealing is going to go on, uh, and I think that Terrence Crawford is going to come up short. Because once they hear the interviews, once they see the time frames, Terrence Crawford is going to come up short, okay, because he stated that Errol Spence was in his rearview mirror. Uh, and you look at the time frames after the Kell Brook fight when he was showing his frustration and not wanting to sign a fight Kell Brook. Well, he was the one that said he didn't want to fight Errol Spence straight away coming off the accident. He wanted Errol Spence to get a fight before he fought. So uh, it's going to be a sticky situation moving forward. We got to see how this unfolds and how does this affect Terrence Crawford moving forward with uh the his future fights but uh that's all i got for y'all make sure you hit the like button drop a comment in the comment section let me know what y'all think y'all already know what it is it's your boy blue blue blood sports tv hate like comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button hit the like button hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications follow me on instagram at blue blood sports tv all one word y'all already know what it is shout out to the entire l d b c shout out to new media Shouts out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share the videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Hi, my name is Heather Heat Hardy, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV.